Domestic abuse calls are way up with the added stress and isolation of COVID-19. And a charity in Logan's feeding those impacts in a big way. Right now, they're seeing their busiest time ever. And as Northern Utah Specialist Mike Anderson reports, that means putting up some of their clients in area hotels. Usually areas like this kitchen would be pretty busy, but CAFSA or Citizens Against Physical and Sexual Abuse has had to reduce their capacity by half, and that's been finding other places to house their clients. Getting people help and refuge from domestic abuse is already tough enough. We just see a phenomenal increase in the number of people requesting help. Executive Director at CAFSA Jill Anderson says the number of people asking for help in cash and rich counties is now higher than ever. I have never seen a time like this. I've been with the organization for more than 25 years and have never seen the demand the way it is. With now only being able to use 16 of their beds due to COVID-19 restrictions, more than half of those they've sheltered recently have had to be sent out to area hotels. Last week, Anderson says they hit an all-time high, helping about 47 people each night. A lot of folks are being furloughed or losing jobs or we're just simply worrying about becoming sick. And so abusers use that fear to gain further control over victims. Calls to their helpline have more than doubled. The Real Salt Lake Foundation helped by purchasing a fourplex for the charity, but the high demand continues. Really put a tremendous strain on our organization. That also means staff are working extra hours and implementing technology to help where possible. But I think we've handled it um, really well. Uh, you know, the message that I want to get out to survivors is if you need our help, please call. We can do it in a safe way. Um, and we're here to support you. And with those higher than normal numbers expected to continue, they could use the help from the community, possibly now more than ever. And while CAPSA could use help with cleaning supplies and masks right now, really their biggest need is the financial support. In Logan, Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News. Mike, thank you.